and Thanksgiving is coming up next week and people are preparing for delicious dinners, but some in different ways than others. Some Wiregrass organizations are doing their part to help people put food on the table for the holiday. Seth Feiner has a story. With Thanksgiving less than a week away, this can be a time of gathering with friends and family over good food. However, for some, Thanksgiving can be a reminder of not knowing where their next meal will come from. That's why two Wiregrass Ministries are working to help people put food on the table. On Sunday, Good News Ministries hosted an early Thanksgiving meal event, and according to one volunteer in Dothan, their ministry and others wanted those in need to receive a full meal even before Thanksgiving. Yeah, what we did, we decided amongst this uh, Good News Ministries and other, some other organizations, Premier Project and others, that we would start serving Thanksgiving dinner on Sunday and maybe have a build up to Thanksgiving. So a few other groups said they would try to serve during the course of the week. The past year has been difficult for many, and according to the USDA, more than 38 million people, including 12 million children in the United States, are food insecure. Oliver said that was even more reason to have this week of giving to others. Well, we all know in the last two years, especially with the coronavirus and, and the things in the pandemic, that food insecurities have been a very uh, major issue in the community. So what we want to do in Dothan, especially in our community, is make sure that people don't have that worry during the holiday season. We have enough things to worry about. Moving to Enterprise, Mayor Cooper, former Dothan Mayor Mike Schmitz, and Pastor Willie White at John's Chapel AME Church hosted a food giveaway event on Saturday. Mayor Cooper said that during holidays and all times of the year, people shouldn't have to choose between costs of prescriptions and being able to eat. That there are people really not having to choose between medicine and food. And of course, with this in hand now, they can come over here and all they have to do is just say how many bags they need. And then what happens is they give them the bags that they need. And uh, as I said, it's worthwhile and they, they don't have any particular normal, just what they need one bag if they need six bags. Reporting in Dothan, Seth Feiner, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.